So I'm not allowed to take a shower for the first few days. Um, so I have to either sponge bath or use like antibacterial wipes or baby wipes or something like that. These are just some antibacterial wet, wipe, wet wipes. During my pre-op consultation they told me that I should for the first few days I need to make sure that I have my my pills on like clockwork so I don't miss any so I don't have to play catch up with my pain and I did not I didn't listen getting tighter it's not really painful the only painful part is my ribs my my ribs are pretty painful but it, um, it's probably just because of all the pressure but it's only it's only painful if I touch it though still can't raise my arms I can, write, I can do my forearms as much as I want, but this I can't do. And doors are getting harder. They're getting heavier too. <laughs> I can't do doors. Doors just suck. <laughs> they are. They do suck. I have invincible. And then there's friggin' doors. And my Achilles heel, whatever that is. And there's still these lines here because they're doing with like Sharpie or something. So I can't get those off. There's blood. There still is a little bit of blood right here. That's dried up. Touching them doesn't hurt at all. They're, I mean, they're very hard still. Um, does this look horizontal to you? I have this patch behind my ear. It's called a transderm patch. That's for like nausea. I just found out I'm only supposed to be wearing it for three days. But I talked to the lady on the phone today and she said that since I'm doing so well, compared to a lot of people. Like, I've, I haven't been bedridden. The only time I've been in bed was to sleep. Um, but uh, she said with how good I've been doing, I could take it off on Saturday, which is only two days. She'd recommend just leaving it on until Sunday, the, three day, the full three days, just to be safe. You're supposed to go in for your post-op consultation after three days, but they're closed on the weekends. So I have to wait till Monday. I'm getting your head with that picture. <laughs> and I got the bed that you're, you've are you been sleeping in. <laughs> it's just not very comfortable. It's like, it, you can feel the springs in it. Comfort means nothing to me. <laughs> I know, right? You're like, uh, I, slept, I could sleep standing up. <laughs> I slept on a recliner. I know, and recline. I left you there on purpose. <laughs> I slept on a recliner that doesn't recline. I know. Did you get the jar of weed? <laughs> <laughs> Did now. We'll see. Courtesy of... Badass great aunt. She's just handing it out. Yeah. Oh, she goodness. She grows it. Well, oh, come over here. Come and, like, get a side profile. Because they're, like, because at this stage, they're, like, really pointy. These straps are pushing it down and being really tight to help keep them from rising and being, like, awkwardly shaped breasts. Some people have boobs that are too high up because they don't keep this on right or something. I don't know. Or they don't get one. But this is to help push it down and keep it okay, well, from being too high and allowing it to, to settle down. The mom bra is horrible. You know why they give those bras out? Because nobody will buy them. Because eight clasps. Right? Good gosh. It's also pointy because there's some of my, my own growth mm -hmm. from before that's on top. Once it settles down over time, it'll be better. Yep. 